Hello everyone, it's Jennifer Escaleta from the Mystic Living School and I'm here today with one of my graduates, Iris. Hi Iris. Um, she is going to talk to us today about her experience um, through her healing journey as well as what her journey has been like going through my energy healing uh, certification program. And this is in the intention to share these stories is to inspire, motivate, be um, a mirror back to those who also see themselves in Iris and Iris see them in others. And so I, my goal is to create community and for us all to continue to be inspired by the sacred work that we do. So thank you, Iris, for being here today and sharing your wisdom. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, man. So if you could tell us a little bit about yourself and what your healing journey, you know, has been like, like what led you to say yes to the certification program? Um, okay, cool. Well, I've been, you know, kind of involved in a self-healing journey like a lot of us for the past three to four years very seriously and things had just been coming up as time went on I went to you know herbalism school I did I worked with a skincare brand that was very much connected to the earth and I was trying to do things that not only built um my spirit but built built myself into the person that I wanted to be on the, this physical realm and a big part of that obviously is spirit and getting there is healing different parts of my spirit and my heart and my mind and um, my body. So getting back close to the earth is part of that. Getting back close to other people is part of that as well. So um, I think I was drawn to Mystic Living School. I know it was Instagram. I don't remember exactly how I got there, but that's the beauty of it as well, because it's just, that's how it happens a lot of times. You just follow a bunch of little dots and you end up someplace that you were meant to be at. And I was thinking about it a lot and I just couldn't get it off my mind. So I was like, okay, mm -hmm. well, the next time that she opens this up, I have to make myself available somehow. And um, I forgot what the question was, Jen. <laughs> just you know what your healing journey has been like and then what led you to say yes to does the that sound like program an answer what did I trail off or was that an no, answer no 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 you you were on okay. you were on target mm -hmm. excellent so you can edit all this out if you would okay. like yeah. it's all good it's all good <laughs> and well, so yeah. what led you to say yes like um, as you were in that healing journey and then you see this you know person you don't know and they have this certification program like what called to you what spoke to you that you said yes to yourself really I feel like I had things that I wanted to unlock in myself that I had been trying to do on my own for a very long time with my own understanding and I knew I wanted mentorship and I wanted community really bad and this this came up at the time of the height where I was like wow that's exactly what I need for my healing mm -hmm. and it felt it felt very much at home so I was like oh wh when I saw Jen speak in her videos and I read the course and, and what she was trying to bring to you were trying to bring to the table you know like the this really we're building each other up and we're all doing this together and we're all capable this is just me trying to help you unlock that stuff which was exactly what my soul was calling for. So I think it was looking for something to help me see something for myself about myself um, in an area where I would be held accountable and I would be with other people who would still be gentle with me, but still hold me accountable because we're all there, you know, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So that's first question. <laughs> okay, so the second question is going to be, what was your life like before you enrolled in the program? Um, and then I did ask the question, what led you to join? Okay, so what was your life like before you enrolled in the program? 
So before I went to Mystic Living School, I was very, I was really anxious. I didn't really like meeting new people. I didn't, I didn't really like being in social settings. I had a hard time making friends and trusting. So even doing it on my own was hard and deciding that this was something that I was going to do on my own was scary. And I'm 30 or I was 29 when I did it. Right. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was just something I felt I had to do to grow up a little bit, mm. which is tight because it's scary, but that's how, you know, like, oh, I have to do that then, you know, <laughs> because that's how I'm going to grow. Yeah. Because it's like, you're going through the tough part of the soil and you know, cause it's only tough because the sun's out there. You feel me? So it's like, all right. Mm. So here I go to the light, whatever. Fine. <laughs> I'm very stubborn. It's like, she, like the whole circle knows they have seen it, you know, and, and I, it's tight. It was tight. My life was very much, um, I didn't think I could do a lot of stuff. I, I, I always counted myself out. Mm. Oh my God. Pause. Thank you. <laughs> we will pause. We will pause. We will pause. Out of it is like, it's tight mm. because I don't really take a lot of time to think about it. Like it'll come up and I'll pull and I'll work through things. So it's like a little toolbox that I use, but I don't really reminisce so much on like, like how it made me feel like really like to grow from it because I've seen now the results because there's been so much time that I can, I remember, I like even that question right now, I remember like um, before I started going to that class and how closed off I was and I was closed off in class but like I was in the beginning you know like I'm I'm I seem outgoing and all that but it's because I was trying really hard to give it a shot you know and not just count myself out automatically and just it was so cool I'm so I'm so excited that I got to do it I'm so grateful okay we can let me just clean my face, Jen, and then we can get back into it. <laughs> it's all good. I love this. Thank you so much for being so authentic. I mean, I appreciate you just being okay. real. I mean, that's what makes you you. I, I wouldn't want you to be any different. Yeah. But that also helps me to trust you, right? Yeah. We can build a bond, a, a, a trust relationship. So I yeah, definitely. That. Yeah. Love okay. it. So we'll go to question three then. Okay. So you started mentioning, okay, how has your life changed since the program? What shift did you have after the program? So I've definitely built a lot of confidence um, because we do exercises in class on each other with each other. Um, and we do things we we're learning in so many different ways we're writing we're listening we're watching things we're seeing demonstrations we're working with our own hands um seeing other people triumph as well in class and that that whole kind of feeling and actual energy flowing throughout it's almost like ding 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 everybody once you're in you get more in tune which jen you, you may put us in a certain space for us to be able to get in tune the way that we need to be in tune it's it I feel like it, it just makes me remember a different human thing about what it is to be here and how you know I was when I was in that class always thinking I was focusing mostly on the spiritual but I really learned a lot of human things um about connection and about bonding and about um how I feel like we're kind of wired to root for each other and to want to see each other win and what that does to your spirit in turn and what happens when you have a hard time and people are so supportive around you to help you kind of tread and then really, really 
you find it within yourself to believe because you've seen other people do it also in class, but you've also just kind of built the, I built a trust within myself that I had been really looking for and working on and I couldn't do on my own, which is super tight, Mm. super cool. Um, I'm also pregnant, so I'm very weepy, but it's, it's super happy tears remembering awesome moments. Mm, thank you thank you yes of course please be yourself so (laughs) you are welcome here always it's always felt that way it's always that's what it feels like in that room it's the best um the best feeling especially with all the girls and me having like trust issues with building friendships and especially with other women Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. awesome and you're just kiss facilitator for all Aww, of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then. Okay. Next question. Um, um, this isn't on there, but I think I need to add this. Um, okay. So since you, I mean, I don't know if you took this certification because you wanted to become a professional energy healer. Or did you take it just for your own, you know, um, personal growth or a little bit of both? Maybe if you could speak about that. Yeah. So when I went into it, it definitely was for growth, but I also wanted the certification because I wanted to be able to go to the next step if I so chose because I was interested in the next level and the next level and getting into the Reiki and working with my hands and making things and putting, learning how to properly charge things, you know, and get my, my, my body ready for things like that, not to deplete my spirit and all those things. That's also the part of, part of growth, but the, yeah, it's a little bit of both, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, I got the most life stuff out of it, I think. And that's super, super valuable to me, which is in turn going to help if I ever want to continue or if I ever do want it. I mean, I have done energy work on people that has been fantastic for both of us. It's just, I don't know if I want to do that all the time, but I love that I, I am capable of it whenever I choose to be. And I have proof that I've done the work. Ooh, yeah, exactly. I got chills on that. <laughs> okay. Um, so what would you want people to know about the program? Mm. What do I want people to know about the program? I think that if it calls to you, it calls to you for a reason. I don't, it wasn't a coincidence for me. And uh, the universe really made it possible because I had, I, we did like a little payment plan thing and Jen, you know, gave me grace and the universe gave me grace by helping me finish paying it, um, with like a little scholarship from somebody that I paid back and payments and I was able to do it. It was just, it worked out perfectly for me because I had this faith that I, it was, dire for it was a something I had to learn it was a lesson I had to learn was something about my faith um mm-hmm. and to like go my pride and my ego and all this stuff and be like mm-hmm. right if it's gonna work out for me it will and it did I just think if you feel called to it you should take a chance on yourself because it is if it doesn't you know if it does anything for you it's gonna help you grow and it's gonna help you find something about yourself that you're gonna be like wow that's Mm. so cool like is there's gonna be something that you're gonna get out of it and I got a lot of life stuff out of it and I'm already I'm already like I'm talking like I'm 45 whatever I'm 45 (laughs) it set me up it's I'm sorry it set me up I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding (laughs) did I I am like 30 are people getting I thought you were like 35 anyway it set me up I'll take it I'll take I'll tell you that for sure um the mind like uh I have to call on a lot of stuff from class 
for to get through certain things in this in this pregnancy and I'm only in my second trimester but faith is a big part of it and knowing that I did things knowing that I was able to push past certain barriers that I could not push past before this class and remembering those moments really, really gives me strength and builds my confidence and reminds me that I also have a whole circle of women who are rooting for me, no matter how, whether I talk to them or not, if I were to, I've, I have called on them. Mm-hmm. I have called on them when the ba- the father of my child, who was just my boyfriend at the time, had a very serious moment and was in a coma. I called on them and they all came mm-hmm. support me and have a moment to help me and energetically and just in spirit holding holding space for me. And it, if I were to call them all again, it would be the same thing. And knowing that is incredible. That's so, just even having that. Mm-hmm. It's, something, it's something to be a part of for sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Let's see. What was your deciding factor to invest in this program? Your demeanor, honestly, the way that that we did our communication. I was like, man, there's somebody I'm going to learn from. I want to learn from her because I felt safe and I felt like I could learn from you. And I felt like you had wisdom that I was going to absorb because I'm very stubborn and it's very hard for me to be like, yes, it's just. I don't usually feel comfortable in, in certain spaces, in public spaces, especially spaces where I already feel inferior. Mm. So having a mentor, a teacher that I could relate to because of your energy, but also I had so much respect and admiration for you already. I was like, I was ready to be in the same room as you and to absorb whatever it was that you were going to impart because I also, the communication that we had made it feel like it would be a very safe place to break down my walls and just do it because I was scared Mm -hmm. so it was you Kim Mm -hmm. thank you thank you for that okay last question (laughs) knowing that we didn't know each other and there was no guarantee oh I guess that's part of the question what was your deciding factor (laughs) knowing that we didn't even know each other yeah maybe you want to speak to that you could add that part (laughs) I guess another deciding factor was just like the um I don't know because how everything worked out for me was just perfect because there was difficulty there you know it wasn't like the universe is like you can have this I like I dangled it in front of me it's like are you gonna are you gonna come and get it because I usually would be like cool if I don't get it like that I'm just not gonna do it because it's gonna hurt too much or something Mm -hmm. but it made me if I really want I, I did really want it it made me prove how bad do you want it and somebody saw how bad I wanted and they're like I'm gonna sponsor you then and then I got it in right in time. Mm-hmm. And that was the universe. It was just like meant to be. But how, what was the question about how I didn't know you? Yeah. So even though you didn't know me, um, you know, I'm a stranger. But I mean, I guess you did answer that question. Um, it was maybe. the energy, I think. And, and your professionalism. How The way that you presented the class really was mm-hmm. because you were like, I want it you know, I want to strengthen the community. And I feel like there's way a lot of room for that. And I want it to be academic and spiritual. I want you to get as much out of this as you can. And this is exactly what we're covering. And I liked the, um, that process. I liked the way that you wanted to structure the class. It was very attractive to me. I felt like that's, I could learn that way. So Mm -hmm. I think that was also a deciding factor. Awesome. Awesome. So is there anything else that you think that people should know that I haven't asked you that you want to share with the community that would help them to decide or like if anyone is on the fence or? Um, I mean, if you're looking for community and you don't know where to go or where to look and you and you still want to do something, this is 
I mean, why not learn a little bit about your chakras and how to help yourself feel better and figure, find certain little points on your body that you can connect to and, or at least learn something or be in the same room as other people while you're learning something is another really cool thing that humans really thrive on. So I know we've been kind of locked up for a while and um, if you're looking for community, it's a good place to start. That's a big one for me, I think. Awesome. And that's right. <laughs> well, thank you, Iris, for your time and your wisdom and sharing your experience and the energy healing certification program. You are actually a part of our founding uh, graduates. You were yes. part of the beginning of this journey. And so I really, really appreciate you. And thank you so much. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Appreciate you too. You too. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh, how can people like, I don't know if you want, I should probably ask this. Um, do you want people to like connect with you or any sure. social media kind of stuff? I'm pretty much just on Instagram. Okay. So let me, let me ask that question more so I can edit it. So for people who want to learn more about you or connect with you, how can they reach you? So I have Instagram at Big Tuna with three A's and an underscore. I'm sure you'll put it in there somewhere. <laughs> we will spell that out. Uh, yeah. All right. And, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Mm, bye, Jim.